Hey guys, uh, sorry for the quality doing this on the phone just because I have the camera set up and, you know, doing shots of the collab as in progress. Um, but I figured it'd be a good time to do an update. It's been a minute and, um, you know, I know 99.9% .9 of y'all are, are rooting me on knowing, man, look at that Arizona sun. Wow. Uh, 99% of y'all are rooting me on knowing that, you know, I work 40 plus hour. To be honest, it's more like 50 plus hour day job. You know, I have three kids and a wife and a house that I own or am paying to own. Um, and that I'm working on this collab as hard as I can, like literally getting three, four hours of sleep, sometimes two hours, sometimes I pull all-nighters. Um, but I'm still having fun, and it's still getting done, and it's coming along great. Uh, the reason for the update, I just got off the phone a little bit ago. Um, that microburst that hit in the middle of the Samurai Challenge, if you guys remember that, it tore through the neighborhood. It tore through the airport by us, flipped airplanes over, tore through hangars. Um, you know, we've been going back and forth with insurance since September, which, you know, obviously has been quite a while as well. Um, I don't know, it's probably too dark to see, but our gutters are still, like, hanging off the house onto the ground. Our roof, if you remember that tarped up. I think this is the third or fourth set of tarps that we've had to be put on because Arizona has been quite a windy, <laughs> cloudy, crazy uh, winter. Um, but I just got off the phone with insurance that, uh, I'm sorry, not insurance, but a contractor for the insurance that all work is going to be approved. And um, there was an opening for our roof to get done which is kind of bittersweet like I'm happy about it um, there's also things that it entails because that roof has a skylight over it and that skylight has been kind of the bane of our existence for quite a while sorry the kids are in here uh, and this is the room that that skylight is located in. It's a little bit better light. Um, this room is my office. Uh, this is what I do. All my Photoshop, my Illustrator, my CAD, Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, that is my laptop that I do with the drawing tablet, which is now on the ground. And my work computers are right behind me, right back there. Um, this room is my, like, <laughs> work area, and above me is that skylight. And the unfortunate thing with that skylight, um, because of that storm, you can kind of see there, you can kind of see there. But we had some pretty gnarly water damage, and, you know, with the winter we've had, Arizona's usually pretty dry. I mean, we do have wet winters every now and then, but this one was a wet one, and... It has kept leaking. I mean, I guess I've been lucky that it hasn't gotten on any of my electronics, which is great. <laughs> but the phone call letting us know that, hey, we had a cancellation. We're going to do your roof. Cool. We're going to do it tomorrow or Friday. Um, today's Wednesday. I'm not sure exactly the date. I think it's the second or yeah, second week of the... Wow. March. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I'm very, very scatterbrained and I'm kind of doing this on the whim. Uh, and for them to come do that, uh, they're going to rip the skylight out. And I can't be in here with that. And then a couple days later, they're going to have someone come in and tear all this drywall out and redo it. Which is great. It is. Um, but I need to get everything in this room out of this room. Um, that's the bittersweetness. We've been waiting quite a while to get this done. Um, but now I have the task of, uh, you know, I've got these bookshelves. 
this is also the same room that this bathroom is the one that flooded and it started in there came out here and then went under the wall into the living room and dining room I'll put some b-roll um, here in a sec but uh but yeah the update is pretty much to let you guys know like that 0.1 percent of people that have things that are negative. Um, I can already hear the voices coming in now. I can already hear the comments coming. And I love every single one of you uh, that are supporting me in, in what I'm trying to get done and the quality I'm trying to bring to the collab. Um, you know, I'm a metal worker. I work with metal. Um, I've got brass, I've got copper, I've got stainless, I've got steel, I've got aluminum, I've got 99.9% .9 silver on the collab. Um, as well as other things that I'm still, you know, trying to work on. And it takes time. It just, it does. And, and I appreciate that 99.9% .9 of you that are just rooting for me. Again, as a fan, like, I know it's taking me a while. And I apologize for that. Like, I sincerely apologize for that. I know it's taking a while. Even to Peter, 10, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, but I am trying my best to put out quality work in as much time as I can. Um, anyone that's followed the community tab knows everything that we've gone through. I mean, I was handed this in the middle of a, of a challenge that I was in the middle of. You guys are already aware of that. After that, everything just kind of, you know, steamrolled. Um, that community tab kind of goes through everything that happened as well as the holidays, which, you know, like Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, like if you guys remember to those just a few months ago, like those are busy times, you know, and with three kids and family and hosting all that family here for those holidays, it, it gets hectic and it eats up time. And I'm, I'm sorry that I didn't have the will to pull myself away from my family to dedicate time to this but I have tried as much as I can. And I'm being honest when I say that. Um, so what I'm trying to say is uh, I need to empty this room out tonight and I'm not going to be able to work on the collab tonight and maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. I know enough to get the computers out of the way of the skylight so they can do what they need to do, ripping it out and re-roofing. Whenever the drywall happens, I'm not sure, but I will have time to figure out the rest of, you know, bookshelves and everything else. I mean, there's <laughs> bows on this wall and just a plethora of things on this side of the room. Um, I have probably about 65 different of these. I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek. I don't know. If you can see, yeah. I'll whip the camera around. So these are just a few of the 65. All I'm going to say is things uh, that I've been working on. And when I say that, you know, I'm a metal worker, this is, this is not just time consuming, but it, it is a toll, you know, on the body. Not to mention all the setup and the... <laughs> The mess that it makes. Um, some of you might know, this might allude to what I'm doing. Um, hope no one figures it out. Uh, but looking at that, at least that sneak peek, hopefully tied some of you over uh, of just the 65 of those variational things that I've made out of all those various me metals. Um, It's been a fun ride. It really has. And I am like truly grateful for this opportunity to be part of the collab. And I, I like I said, I can already hear and read the comments that are coming. in. So many people pass it on, pass it on. You don't have time. You can't do it. We want it now. Someone even said something to the extent of your unaliving the kids that rely on the charity that this is supposed to bring should only have a two-week time frame to to do a part of the collab 
Um, I don't know if that's the thought processes of everyone. It, those comments run through my head nightly. Um, it's tough. It's tough because you think I'm not going to take two weeks and pump out something that's not going to raise a lot of money. It's, it's I'm going to put my time and effort to use the knowledge that I know, the tools that I have acquired and learned how to use, you know, over the years to do my best job to raise as much money as I, you know, as what my con contribution can do. Sorry, I, I pace a lot when I'm talking. <laughs> uh, I don't do a lot of these um, talking on the spot, but I, I hope that that point one of you uh, can understand that life happens. Like, I'm not a famous YouTuber. I barely, barely passed the threshold. I, I still have only gotten that one payment of two hundred dollars, two hundred and ninety dollars from YouTube. It is not enough to sustain a life with a house, three kids, and a wife. Um, that's five, you know, including me, that's five mountain mouths to feed. Uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know I'm trying my hardest and there's another hurdle, um, a speed bump. Some of you one percenters call them excuses. This is life. This thing exists. It happens to everyone. Um, I, I didn't even do an update on the community tab. My wife, Steph, you guys have seen her in videos. Some of you even know her from the conventions that we used to do. Um, her grandma passed away on the 10th of February. We just had the um, funeral. She was cremated. Her celebration of life um, two weekends ago. And it's been a toll. Uh, her grandfather passed away quite a few years before that, so now it's kind of the house is empty and everything needs to be figured out where it's going. Um, and we've been trying to help with that. But I just wanted to say that I was sorry for, I am sorry for how long it has taken. Um, but just to assure everyone out there in YouTube land um, that it's getting done. Like, it is. I'm excited. I really am. Um, I'm going to say um about 12 more times. But I guess I'll cut it short here. I do appreciate all of you. The good comments and the bad comments. The good comments I greatly appreciate. The kids and my wife do. Um, those one percenters, though. <laughs> they kind of like, they kind of like take a little notch at you. Keep you up at night thinking, man, do I suck that bad? <laughs> but um, I'll cut it short here. As soon as I get the collab done, you guys will know. Um, I do my own video editing like I do all of that. And uh, you guys will be known. I will let you know when it ships out and when the video is going to be coming out because it will definitely ship out before I finish editing the video. <laughs> so uh, just know that when the video does come out, it's going to already be in the hands of the person next in line. So um, I'm not sure really what else to say. I, I just, after getting off the phone with you know, insurance and knowing that I've got a big task to do on this room, which includes the editing capabilities that I do and my workflow that I do. Um, I should probably get an update out. So here's that update. Um, I'm sorry for the bad quality. I hope the audio is all right. Um, but I hope you guys are all having a good night. Um, And I'll talk to you all soon.